Hello everybody, uh, this is a shoulder joint. I'm going to show you the bones and the ligaments present in the shoulder joint. So first, let's see the bones. This bone is called the clavicle. So this is the clavicle and this is the scapula, the shoulder blade, and this is the upper end of the humerus, okay? Now, we'll see the ligaments in the shoulder joint. Around the shoulder joint, you have a number of ligaments that keep the joint stable, okay? To make the joint stable, these ligaments around the shoulder joint are this one. You see this part of the scapula is called the coracoid process. And this part is called the acromion, okay? So this ligament is connecting the coracoid and acromion. So that's why this ligament is called coracoacromial ligament, okay? This ligament above the shoulder, you see this is the clavicle and this is the acromion of the scapula, right? So this ligament is called acromioclavicular ligament. So if you know the name of those bones or their parts, it is very easy. Acromioclavicular ligament, this one, okay? Now, we'll see the ligaments here, you see connecting the coracoid process and the clavicle. That's why these ligaments these two are called coracoclavicular ligament. Make sense? And this one is the outer one. So this is the external coracoclavicular ligament. And this one is the internal coracoclavicular ligament. Okay. And this is the transverse scapular ligament. Just above the scapula and placed transversely. Right. So, those are the ligaments here, three ligaments, okay? And then, you see this long tendon. This is the tendon of the long head of biceps muscle, you know, biceps brachii. So, biceps brachii has two heads, right? So, this is the tendon of the long head of the biceps brachii and this one passes through the intertubercular sulcus there is a groove here intertubercular sulcus so this is the long tendon of the long head of biceps okay and <clears throat> this ligament this ligament is called the coracohumeral ligament makes sense right it's it is coming from the crocket process and getting at us to the humerus, upper end of the humerus. So, coracohumeral ligament, okay? And this one, you see, connecting the glenoid cavity and the humerus. So, getting at us to the lip of the great glenoid cavity, that means the border of the glenoid cavity and the humerus, right? So, this is gleno humeral ligament. Also in the back, you see from the glenoid cavity to the upper end of the humerus. So, glenohumeral ligament. Okay. So, let me quickly go over it again. So, first, if we see the top of the shoulder joint, you see this is acromion and this is clavicle. So, acromioclavicular ligament. Make sense? And this one is connecting the coracoid process and the acromion. So, coracoacromial ligament. Okay? These two are coracoclavicular. This is the external coracoclavicular. This is the internal coracoclavicle, clavicular. And this one 
is above the scapula transverse right so superior transverse ligament of the scapula okay and then um, this one is the ligament that is connecting the coracoid and humerus so coraco humeral ligament okay and this is the tendon of the long head of biceps brachii muscle okay and then this is the glenohumeral from the border of the glenoid cavity to the humerus okay In the back you also have glenohumeral ligament so those are the ligaments around the shoulder joint 